you well. I am sitting on my dining table today, please forgive me. I've had the craziest week at work. It's one of those weeks where you just get home so late and every night I've just been eating like a tin of soup or something for my dinner. Um, but tonight I got back and the hubby had got me KFC. So I feel absolutely bloated, I'm gonna stretch my stomach out. But tonight I wanted to go through my top 10 kids gifts. Uh, Diego, my son is eight and my daughter Eva is 10. Um, so if you've got children that are around that age, I thought this might give you some ideas or give them some ideas as to what to put on their Christmas list. Um, I'm basing it on the top things that they're asking for. So it really is what the kids want. So the first on my list, which if I'm honest, I'm tempted to get one for myself, let alone the kids, is a talking baby Yoda. Um, I've seen these at quite a few different retailers and you can see it pictured here. It is the cutest little thing. Um, and that definitely gets the number one spot. Number two is skateboards. I don't know why they are crazy about a skateboard at the minute. Um, they both seen kind of a similar one and they know what, they're quite reasonable. Um, so they're not very expensive gifts. I don't think they'll be able to keep them for long because we've got a bulldog that absolutely loves anything that moves. So he'll be skating probably before they will be. The third is Diego's dream toy and that is a wall climber car. Uh, we've seen these at Smith's Toys. That's probably one of the only places I've seen the exact one that he wants. Um, and it is literally just called Wall Climber. Um, but it's a car that has like a, a vacuum that sucks it to the wall. Um, and you can also drive it on the floor. On Eva's list, one of her top presents that she's asked for is a Smart Sketcher. Um, it's basically a projector that will project an image onto a piece of paper for you to trace. She's really into her art and crafts at the moment, and so for her, this is like the perfect gift. The only thing is, it does have quite a hefty price tag. Eva is also crazy about fidget toys and squishies, um, and things that really honestly are quite crazy, but addictive. I look at some of her fidget toys and I'm like, oh, that's so silly. And then the next thing you know, I'm sat there like popping these little bubbles through a hole. Um, so yeah, it is quite addictive. I found a really good place to get these kind of things is the range. The range has a fantastic variety of them. Um, and also some of your cheaper shops, in particular one below has got loads, like these squishy llamas, all sorts. Um, so they're probably my top recommendations if you're looking for these kind of things. But also you can get them on Amazon. Um, what I am going to be doing is I'll be attaching my uh, links to my Amazon shop below as well. So you can go on and have a look at my lips as well. They've both also asked for a scooter, um, but not any old scooter. They've asked for scooters that spin all the way around, like the trick scooters. Um, they're ranging from around, from what I can see, between like £30 to like 100 and something. Um, I mean, for the age that they are, I don't think it's worth spending a lot of money on these things because they grow out of them quite quickly and also might not get much use out of them. Um, but that, that's the kind of thing that they've asked for. Both of my kids are gamers and they like the Xbox. Um, so they've asked for quite a few different accessories, um, like some new joy pads, some new headphones. And if I'm honest, it's been probably a couple of months and Diego's headphones have been broken. Um, it's one of those things that it, when it gets near to Christmas, you just kind of think, hold out, hold out, because there's a present there. <laughs> so um, we're hoping that he may get that, but who knows, eh? Eva has asked for LED lights, um, the ones that you can stick to like the ceiling and change the colour, because she really likes the idea of being able to change the colour of her room to like blue and red and green. Um, so that's on her list as well. And um, actually, quite a cool little gift. Pretty sure that if you are a mother of a daughter, you'll already know about mini brands. Um, mini brands are fantastic. Even I like them. They're so cute. It's just basically a tiny version of a real thing. So like a tiny version of an actual jug of milk. Um, it's just so crazy. And you can get like a little supermarket. And I've just started doing mini toys as well. Um, and Eva was really quite intrigued. And she was like, oh, I think they only sell them at Tesco. But... If I'm honest, I don't think it's just Tesco that sells them, so I'm sure if you have a look around, you'll be able to find those. And finally, number 10 is a ring light and a tripod. Most kids these days are doing something on the phones, whether it's social media, uh, whether it's just messing around for themselves, pretending they're making videos, but I think that's a really good gift to get, and they're so reasonable. I've seen like the full set for like £10, 
um, and you can even get like these tiny little ones that are attached to a phone as well for even cheaper so such a reasonable gift that's actually kind of cool as well it has a use so I quite like that so that's their top 10 it won't be everyone's top 10 but it's a good guide for any parents out there that are just thinking hmm what can that extra gift be thank you for watching and don't forget everything is in my Amazon link down below um, if it's not I'll try and find the links to the individual sites such as Smith's um, if I can find them as well and good luck with your Christmas shopping okay I'm gonna go rest my belly thank you so much for watching don't forget as always subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time take care bye